Shalomam. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who will. And peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing this truth and true sincerity. And I'm going to start off in Acts 13, chapter, verse 46. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, It was necessary that the word of the Most High should have should first have been spoken to you. But seeing you put it from you and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. And I want to bring that scripture out because that's what you see going on this week with uh, this controversy um, uh, with this uh, man that's in the spirit world, Rap the News, and his followers, and Watchman Yahoo, and his wife. You know, this word has gone out to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But you're putting it away from yourself and we're turning to the Gentiles, you know, the Israelite foreigners, because Israel has been scattered across the four corners of the earth. There's a lot of you men, women, and children who are rejecting this word. You're stuck in your ways. You can't see that Yahweh Shai is the Messiah. You can't see that the apostles and elders of Great Millstone have the truth. You know, we're going to turn to uh, the, the, the Israelite foreigners. Verse 47, for so have the Lord commanded us saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles that thou shouldest be for salvation into the ends of the earth. Yeah, because Israel has been scattered according to Deuteronomy 28, I believe it's verse 64. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorify the word of the Lord. And as many as were ordained to eternal life, believe. And you have Israelite foreigners right now in the Philippines who know the name Yahweh by Shemel Shai, and they're taking it. They're they're running away with it. You so-called Black, Spanish, and Native Americans here over, over here in the Western Hemisphere, you're rejecting the word. You call you call the Most High Yah, Yahushua, Yeshua, Yeshaya, but you got people that look like heathens or actually Hebrew Israelites over there in the Philippines. A great majority. The, the vast majority of Filipinos are Israelites. They're cleaving on to the name of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai. They are praising and glorifying the name of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai. And you're going to start to see that with Israelite foreigners. You're going you're gonna to see men that look like Edomites. You're going to see men that look like Moabites. You're going to see men, women, and children that look like Ishmaelites. Hamites, Japhites, and they're going to come back into the fold because it's prophesied. So continuing on, it says, and the word of the Lord was published throughout all the region. But the Jews stirred up the devout and honorable women and the chief men of the city and raised persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them out of their coast. And you're going to start to see that amongst our people. Those ones who deny and reject Yahweh Shai. There's no new thing under the sun. You're seeing that happening now, being played out in January 2022, the year of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai turning up. But they shook off the dust of their feet again against them and came unto Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. No, because the scriptures say, a matter of fact, I'm going to get it. Let's go to... Uh, I believe it's, if I'm not mistaken, it's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. First Thessalonians 5. Excuse me. It says, uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16. Rejoice evermore. We're, we're still rejoicing in this word. You know, no matter what. Uh, the naysayers and the scoffers say we're still rejoicing in the hope of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So you can't take away our joy. You can't take away this gospel from us. The scriptures say, "Let no man take that crown." And that's what you—that's what you naysayers of the circumcision are saying. But now this message is going to go 
This this message can continue. This message is going to continue to go worldwide. You're going to start to see Israelites wake up, wake up in Japan, Russia, Kazakhstan. There's a lot of chaos going in Kazakhstan right now. Uh, different parts of uh, South America, Central America. You're going to see uh, Africa, different parts of the world where you you didn't think. That they 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 would get it because you know this whole pro black back to Africa doctrine is just getting way out of hand. And just to prove that Israelites are scattered, let's go to the Old Testament. You know, a lot of you uh, Old Testament Israelites want to talk about the law, the law, the law, but you don't talk about the Israelite foreigners. Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty four, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So the Lord is going to scatter the Israelites among all people. As I mentioned beforehand, there's Israelites in the Philippines. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. Verse 65. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. Verse 66, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have none assurance of thy life. You even have Israelites that look like Amalek. Yes, it's true. All right. And they're going through the same curses as you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans over here in the Western Hemisphere. But you Israelites, you put away the gospel of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, and this gospel is going to open wide. This, this gospel is going to open up to the Israelite foreigners, as it has been. But even in the midst of this persecution, you're going to start to see the Lord do his thing. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 13 and 8. For we can do nothing against the truth before the truth. And Esau is using his propaganda machine of persecution. You know, this week is with this uh, 12 tribes who are actually Edomites and a few Jakes spe speckled in. He's going to use his persecution machine. But wait till you uh, see more uh, men that look like Edomites join the camp. You're going to have men that look like uh, East Indians join the camp. You're going to have men that look like Moabites and Ammonites and Japhites in the camp and who believe. And we're going to do start doing more, more and more videos about Yahweh Ba Shimei Oshai. So you can't do nothing against this truth, Esau. All right. Now, I want to get this one scripture. This is... uh. Uh, Romans, what is that scripture? Romans 8 and 16, I believe. <clears throat> Romans 8 and 16, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. And you're going to start to see that play more and more in 2022. You're going to see Israelites from near and far who don't look like the typical so-called black man, Hispanic man or Native American man. Give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba Shimei Al Shai. That's this is the times that we're in. But the scriptures also prophesied what would happen in the latter times at the end of this destruction of Babylon the Great. So let's get Revelation chapter 7. And there's various other scriptures, just for the sake of time. You know, you can read uh Hosea 8 and 8. You can read, I believe it's uh uh Isaiah, the 11th chapter, there's various other scriptures that prove that Israel has been scattered. So let's go to Revelation 7 and 9. Now, this is after the 144,000 men of all 12 tribes of Israel have been named. Revelation 7 and 9. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people. Now, the typical Christian, like, see, that's going to all people. But when you look at that word kindred, 
Matter of fact, I'm going to get it on my computer. Let's go to Revelation chapter 7, verse 9. Let's get that word kindred. Just bear with me for a sec. Strong's G, 5443. Foulet. Foulet. So that's proof that it's in there. You can look up the blue letter Bible. G, fit, let me play it again. Strong's G, 5443. Foulet. Foulet. So kindred is foulet in the Greek. And it means a tribe in the New Testament, all the persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob. It doesn't say the whole world. So these are Israelites that have been scattered across the four corners of the earth. That's why Yahweh Shai, uh, and I believe it's uh, Matthew 28 or in Luke 24, to bring about the Great Commission to preach this word across the four corners of the earth to scatter the lost sheep of the house of Israel, no matter what they look like. It says a nation, a people. So continue on, it says, after this I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man can number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. If you have a palm in your hand, that symbolizes victory. Now, continuing on, this is this is going to explain why they had these palms in their hand. And cry with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power, our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their, on their faces and worshipped the Most High. Saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Verse 13, and one of the elders answered, saying unto me, what are these which are arrayed in white robes and whence came they? And I said unto him, sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, these are they which came out of, a, out of great tribulation and I washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb. So there's gonna be Israelite foreigners who are going to be in this particular passage in real life coming up real soon, who are going to have the victory over the beast who came out of the tribulation. So, you know, a lot of you Israelites, you're just rejecting the word. And this word is going forth to the Israelite foreigners because, hey, the Lord, we still got work to do, man. In 2022, we still have a lot of work to do. Let's get this uh, last scripture. You know, no matter what you say and, and name call us, we still have a job to do at the end of the day. You want to get all butt hurt because you want to follow. First of all, you're ma you're making the creature above the creator, like it mentions in Romans 1 and 25. You're worshiping a guy that's in the spirit world. The Lord called him back. So why are you worshiping a man that the Lord called back? You know, Israel has continued to be in an idol worship to this day. You know, this Raptor News guy, you continue to worship idols to this day. And the Lord is not too keen with that. So this is Matthew 9 <clears throat> and um, verse 37. Then saith he, he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray you, therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. And we still have a job to do at the end of the day, regardless of how the naysayers feel and how many names you call us. We still have to get, gather Israel across the four corners of the earth with this word. So with that, Lord willing, I was edifying. And I want to say Shalom and a Baba Ball.